from your phone and tablet to your laptop and even your gaming console. Most of the devices in your life have moved from using proprietary ports to USB-C. From charging and transferring data to outputting audio and video, USB-C is a powerful port that can help simplify the amount of cables in your life. In fact, using USB-C and other new charging technologies, you can even charge between your devices. Let's take a look at how. In order to support charging devices from your phone, you'll need to ensure that your device supports what's called reverse charging. Most newer flagships, like Google's Pixel line of devices or Samsung's recent S-Series and Note series, support reverse charging, but you'll need to check with your manufacturer to ensure your phone supports the technology. If it does, reverse charging is as easy as connecting a device to your phone using a USB-C cable. For example, connecting a Nintendo Switch and a Pixel 2 XL together displayed the Switch as charging, while our Pixel 2 XL gave us a small notification, alerting us that the phone was charging the connected device over USB. It doesn't have to be connected via a USB cable either. We used the same cable but connected a micro USB adapter to one side, then used our phone to charge our wireless mouse. As you can imagine, this drains your phone battery quickly, especially if you're trying to charge a device that uses a lot of battery, like our Switch. Our Pixel 2 XL dropped 6% in just 2 minutes while charging the Switch, while the console stayed at 71% charged. For devices with large battery consumption, you probably won't want to charge your device using your phone. But for topping up your mouse or your pair of Bluetooth headphones before you hit the gym, it's a really great feature to have on your device. However, reverse charging doesn't stop there. Newer Android phones, including many of Huawei's newest devices and the S10 lineup from Samsung, include reverse wireless charging, allowing you to charge any Qi-compatible devices like headphones, smartwatches, and even other wireless charging phones just by setting them on the back of the device. Look for this feature to become even more popular over the next year as more phones adopt the standard. If you enjoyed this guide, make sure to check out these other videos you might like, and subscribe to Tech Junkie for brand new videos every week.